Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop and I am in the workshop today, not in the dirty old French barn. In six days time I will be heading to Plymouth to start the 2024 Parador Tour for Strano Bikes and today I'm making a video about how I am preparing for that. The first thing of course to prepare is the bike. Um, the bike I'm taking is my 2017 Jixa 750, which of course is the perfect touring machine, as anyone with an adventure bike will tell you. Um, so one of the things I've got to do, and I'll show you what I'm up to, is to make sure it's luggage ready. Um, I mean obviously the bike is not um, specifically designed to take luggage, so I've had to adapt. So the first thing to do is this. And that is to cover up the corners where the throw over panniers will go so that I don't wear my nice yellow paint out. So that, that's the first job I need to do. So I'll put the panniers on and then you can see how they, how they go. So just a moment. So um, they connect on with these metal bars. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show you them. Um, yeah, the, these brackets here, um, which are bolted to where the rear uh, passenger foot pegs would normally go, and these bars slot in. I did notice actually that um, th this is the left hand one and the other one's the right hand one, so I've put them on wrong. But th I've put them on, I've had to adapt them to, to suit this bike, so, which has involved heating these bars and, and bending them. But um, once they're on, um, th they look pretty good, you know, they, they don't look stupid. And you can see how the only the only place they're going to rub, if they're going to rub at all, is on this on this corner. Which is why I've got two layers of clear uh, PPF and gaffer tape. Um, so I'm hoping that that will suffice to keep them uh, to keep the bike safe. So that's what it looks like from the back. Um, the other thing I've been doing, um, obviously, always sort of thinking, um, you know, of the worst. Um, the tyres that are on the bike at the moment are Michelin uh, Road 5s. And you can see that they've got plenty of tread. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. They've got bags of tread and they're great. However, uh, that one is uh, five years old and that one is four years old. So I'm thinking, do you know what? Let's just get some new tyres. So the wheels are off, um, the bike's on paddock stands, front and back, and I am waiting for DHL to deliver the tyres, which they've told me will be arriving today, uh, 12.45 to 1.45. So once they've arrived, I will go round to my good friend Lee at Triumph Tech, and he's very kindly said he will ch swap the tyres over. So when I get them, um, when I get them back, I will... Um, Put the wheels on. The tyres I've gone for are Dunlop Sport Smart Mark III. Now, obviously, tyres is a massively subjective issue on which people have extremely strong opinions. Um, obviously, anyone that knows me from my channel will know that I, I almost never have a strong opinion about anything. Um, <laughs> so, um, I, I have used Dunlop Sport Smart before. I had them on a CBR 600 R. They were the stock tyres that came with it, and they were brilliant. Um, I've also had Dunlop Road Smart. I had that on a um, Yamaha Diversion, and they were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Confidence inspiring, no problem. I've used Bridgestones before. I've used the Michelin Road Road Fives and Road Six. They're all brilliant. I mean, to be honest, there's there's almost there almost isn't a tyre that isn't good out there. And bearing in mind that my capability on a bike will be significantly exceeded by the tyres on the bike. Um, you know, I'm not doing track days. I'm not um, one of these people that thinks that having chicken strips is some sign of masculine inferiority. Indeed, I mean, chicken strips, um, if you think about what motorcycle racers do and how they ride they ride deliberately to keep the bike upright because then they can go faster around the corner because then they've got more tire on the road 
So the idea of riding the bike to the tyre so that the, you have no chicken strips at all, you're riding on the edge of the tyre, is, is completely opposite to what motorcycle racers do. Uh, and I think motorcycle racers probably know how to go fast more than your average Joe on the roads. So, um, those are the panniers. That, that, that's the story on the wheels and the tyres. Uh, let's go inside and I will show you what I am packing to go on this trip. And I am packing light. So, you'll see me inside. So, what am I taking with me? Um, okay, we're in the spare room now. Or one of the spare rooms. So, um, in no order whatsoever, a pair of pants for each day, plus a spare for those unexpected, unforeseen accidents. Uh, hopefully, of which there will be none. Um, but you never know. You never know. Um, T-shirts, one for every day. Tire repair kit, tool kit, lightweight shoes. Um, they're actually beach shoes, but we're going to Spain, so it's going to be warm. Um, socks for said shoes lightweight trousers, waterproof gloves should they be needed, waterproofs. Um, typically what I do is I wear a waterproof jacket when I'm riding um, just to get somewhere rather than on tour because it keeps your leathers clean. Um, Earplugs, selfie stick, um, some neckerchiefs. Um, <clears throat> I'm taking this mount, um, I'm using the Garmin to navigate with, but that mount can hold a phone, so I can swap it over on the ball mount should the Garmin fail. Spare um, PPF in case I need to put some on the bike. Bit of electronic stuff, spare pair of glasses and documents for the bike. And, and obviously a wash bag, because washing I think is very important. Well, staying clean is important. Um, I'm going to be wearing these gloves. These are held. Um, I'm wearing my leathers, my two-piece uh, held leathers. I've, I've worn these on a, t a previous tour and they're absolutely brilliant. Super comfortable and not too hot. Um, I'll also be wearing this um, on my back. Th this is a, a lightweight. Uh, it's actually for, for hiking. I bought it from Decathlon. But critically, it's got uh, a water bladder in. Um, which you can put the hose you know through the loops uh, and so you can have a drink and it's way more convenient to just have this on your back with with a, a liter or so of water in and maybe your wallet uh, in the zip up bit and then when you want to drink it's very easy to stop just shove the hose down inside your helmet and and suck um, <laughs> um, if you know what I mean so that's that's the plan taking my shark helmet with me i'll be using my shark helmet um and that's about it um that is that is what i'm taking and all of this because there isn't very much there let's face it will fit in those two panniers there's no point taking anything else um i mean wh why would i want to take anything else the, the point of the uh, trip is to ride a bike uh, the, the purpose of the trip is not to go sightseeing, it's not to go looking in cathedrals and going ooh, um, um, or anything like that. Um, I mean, it's, it's about the ride. It is about going on a bike ride. And therefore, most of the time you will be on this bike ride, you'll be wearing your bike gear. Um, and all you need is something lightweight in the evening, bearing in mind we're in Spain and Portugal, um, just to be comfortable. So that's it. Um, when the tyres come back, I shall show you what they look like, although you may have seen tyres before. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I'll put the, put the wheels back on the bike. And then I should be almost ready to go. Who knows? Um, there will be something I will remember right at the last minute. But um, generally, I don't forget much, uh, which is good. Anyway, um, you'll see me next when the wheels are back on the bike. See you in a bit. So, just back from Lee who very kindly put the new tyres on the wheels. So here we go. The Dunlop Sport Smart Mark 3s on the back and of course the same thing on the front. So now ready for the 2024 Strano Bikes Parador Tour. Um, in terms of what we're up to and where we're going, the um, on Sunday we'll all be heading down, uh, bar one, bar one of the participants, we'll all be heading down to Plymouth 
to get the ferry to Santander. The the last participant, the fifth um, or sixth, if you count me, member of the uh, the group, uh, is a guy from Canada. Um, he's flying over to Bilbao and renting a bike. Um, so it's an international tour. Who would have thought? Um, in terms of what, what happens when we get to Santander, we will be heading, and you'll see this from the map I'm showing you on the screen now, the first um, port of call is um, Santo Domingo del Calvada um, for an overnight. Then we head down to Avila, then on to Merida, then we head over the border into Portugal to Vizu to stay in one of my favourite hotels of all time. Then after Vizu, we head north back into Spain to um, Urense, um, which is a lovely town in northwest Spain. Northwest Spain is massively overlooked um, and it's a, it's a real tragedy because it is utterly beautiful there, utterly beautiful. Um, and then after uh, Urense, we head to the north coast of Spain um, to Gijon or Gijon. I think it's pronounced in um, in Spanish. And then from there we get head on back to Santander for an overnight ferry back to Portsmouth. Um, so that, that's what we're up to. Um, if you want to follow um, what we're up to, I am intending, and I say intending, I'm not, I can't guarantee it, to do a daily blog on the Strano Bikes Facebook page. Um, so if you want to know what we're up to, how things have gone, what sort of lunches we've had, what the ridings be like, what we've seen, what we hope to see, what we should, saw that we didn't wish to see, um, then please, please um, go go over to the Facebook site and um, and if you follow that, you'll you'll know what's going on. Um, in the meantime, uh, that that's all for now. Uh, waiting for Sunday really to arrive and then we can get going. So. That's all. If you like this sort of thing, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It does help. Um, it's really nice to know um, that people are subscribing. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.